Hello everyone and welcome to the first in a series of short videos covering all of the many changes coming to Rainbow Six Siege in Year 4. Starting off with the changes coming to Casual Play as well as the new permanent playable mode called the Newcomer Playlist. First, in Casual we will be seeing in Year 4 the round timer for the action phase will be reduced from its current 4 minutes down to 3 minutes 30. We will also, for the first time in Casual, be able to select which attacker spawn point we want to spawn at, similar to ranked, and defenders will be shown which defender site they randomly get given. These changes are really cool, as it brings the casual playlist and the ranked playlist slightly closer together with the more similar rules. Being able to select spawn point as an attacker means that you can control more what you will be doing in the round, as you'll be able to think that if I spawn in this specific position, maybe from here I can do this specific thing a lot better than if I randomly spawned anywhere else. The defenders also knowing where they will be defending is also good news to hear as it will give more meaning to picking certain operators such as, in my mind, Castle and Mirror specifically, and enable greater strategy from the defender setup. The round timer being reduced by 30 seconds is also nice as rounds in casual, particularly if you're used to playing ranked, can last quite a while. This actually makes some operators that rely on running the clock on defense quite a bit worse as well in the current form of casual on 4 minute active round timers. Operators such as Smoke for example, who really want to be chucking their gadgets in the last 30 seconds of a round. These changes for casual are great as I believe it will make the transition from playing largely casual to playing largely ranked instead a lot easier for newer players and having more control in what you're doing and how you choose to defend, in my opinion, will simply improve casual play. Moving on, we'll also be seeing the addition of a new permanent playlist called the Newcomer Playlist. As the name would suggest, this mode will be targeting the newer players in Siege, with a rule set aimed at making learning Siege quite a bit easier for them. The playlist will only be running the bomb game mode, will only have three maps in its map pool, which are, by the way, Bank, Consulate and Chalet, and you get to choose your spawn point as an attacker. Most importantly of all though, only player accounts between levels 1 and 50 will be able to queue into this playlist. These rules are clearly quite restrictive if you're a long time player, but as a new player to Siege, having only 3 maps to learn will be a massive help in reducing the pressure on the average new player. Maps in Siege are of course fairly big, and more importantly can be destroyed and defended in many different ways. This is honestly quite a lot of information for a new player to absorb, and so restricting the map pool for this newcomer playlist to just 3 maps makes a lot of sense. I have to be honest, I'm worried that streamers will use this playlist as an excuse to make entertaining content of them destroying newer players whilst using a smurf account. I really hope this doesn't happen, and of course anyone looking to do this will have to fork up some cash for the privilege, but still, I can't help but fear for the playlist's potential for exploitation, as essentially at the end of the day it is just a pool of players who, outside of the smurfs within it, are all going to be new to the game and unsure what to do. Easy pickings potentially for smurf accounts, but maybe the siege community is better than this. Maybe. Either way, I hope you found this interesting, those have been the changes coming to casual and the new newcomer playlist for year 4. The next video will be focusing on the details of the updated ranked playlist which, you might have heard, is finally coming out of beta. And of course my thoughts on the whole thing. Thanks for watching.